One in four babies will have a hard time sleeping. Stay tuned to find out why parents are so confused about how to get their little ones sleeping soundly and the fastest way to identify the sleep training method that's right for you. In this video, we're going to dive deep into why parents just like you are so confused about how to get their little ones sleeping soundly and fast. And more importantly, what you can do to speed up the process so that you don't have to suffer through this special time in sleep deprived, depleted existence and have all your memories be a blur. Why is it that some babies start sleeping through the night blissfully within just a matter of months? Well, yours seems to be taking forever. In my years of helping tired families just like yours, I've heard many parents ask, is it just that my child doesn't need as much sleep or I've just accepted that he's an early riser? Of course, we are all different and what fits for your little one won't suit another at all. But there are some key principles that will help us to determine the most suitable way to help our little one sleep soundly. So you don't want your little one spending her day fractious and clingy with no refreshed energy for her learning and development. I once worked with a mother of five. She'd had no difficulty with her first four, including twins, but baby number five had her baffled. What am I doing wrong? She asked me. Nothing. She wasn't doing anything wrong. This little one just needed a different approach to his siblings. You see, our personalities and temperament traits make us individual and the circumstances around us, the parenting style, all of these factors contribute to the variables in why a particular sleep training method will suit one child and not another, even in the same family. If there was one perfect solution or a choice of a few that we could select from, we would all know about these by now and yet parents are still walking around exhausted zombies and totally confused by all the conflicting information everywhere. The right solution for you and your little one will be unique to you. It will be founded on a method and fine-tuned to the ideal bespoke approach that is just right to get the best from your child's sleep abilities. What sleep training methods have you tried already? Comment below and tell me, I'd love to know. There are a bunch of names and labels given to sleep training methods, but they all come down to a few core principles, which are then customised to suit the child and family. That's how our sleep learning consultants figure out the tailored approach for the families they work with. A detailed assessment and an in-depth consultation are just some of the steps involved in arriving at this intricate action plan. Don't be put off or misled by some of the names and terms you'll hear. It's widely misunderstood what cry it out truly means and I've had mothers crying on the phone to me filled with guilt that they've let their baby cry it out. It turns out that they didn't at all. Sure, baby was crying, but mum was responding to the cries as best she could. This isn't cry it out. Oh, the relief when I explain this to that mum. Cry it out is when you put a baby down and leave the room and don't return until morning. Its official name is extinction and it's rarely used these days. It's certainly not a method we would recommend. Controlled crying is another term that I don't like. It gives the impression you are making your baby cry under controlled circumstances. In actual fact, the method is about giving a particularly alert or overstimulated baby some space to practice settling and returning to reassure at regular intervals. It's not suitable for every child, but there are situations where it's the most suitable approach. I have a sleep nanny version of this called regulated responding because the emphasis is on the response, not the crying. And who's to say there will be any crying anyway? Our preferred method to sleep training is the kindest, most responsive and highly successful approach that I call the fade out. It's about starting where you are with your little one, where you're putting him to sleep, 
doing it for him and moving gently through a process of allowing him room to do a bit of the settling himself with your help and guidance, slowly reducing your input as he increases his part in the settling until he masters it and can manage without your help. I truly believe that finding the right sleep training method for your exhausted child and sleep deprived family is such an honourable and proactive thing to do as a parent. The whole family will be healthier, happier and thriving rather than surviving. If this has been insightful, please write in the comments below what you liked best. And if you know someone who would benefit from watching this, please do share this video with them as well. I've created a handy printout which you can download below, there's a link below. This will help you to determine an ideal method to sleep train your little one and check out my next video where I'll be explaining what the different temperaments are and how they affect the suitability of a particular sleep training method. So until next time, sleep soundly, live with vibrance and make your impact today.